had the tour of this room before. This is what it looks like, completely trashed. Um, the cupboards in here have always been a problem. Um, again, not utilised very well at all. Uh, but I found this in Malia's room and we're going to try to put that into place in here and create a better system so it stays neater. Okay, so we're back to the big two kids room and um, pretty drastic change in terms of uh, tidiness. The kids hadn't even made their beds this morning and I you know, it was like, don't bother, you know, I'm going to get stuck in and do that cover today. So, yeah, they've come in, they've helped me tidy up their shelves. So I'll just do that side of the room first. So I've just labelled everything with chalkboard labels and my label maker so it's easier for them to tidy up and put away and move some things around that need to be in here. So, yeah. These bunk beds are really tricky for them to make, so unfortunately poor mommy has to help them out a bit to get them looking reasonable. So over to here, and I'll show you what I've done in the cupboard area. So with two kids, I obviously needed the two sets of drawers, so the drawers on the right, the plastic ones um, have been labelled with all of Thierry's things um, and yeah, they've come from Nellie's room. So, and on the tops is just an old box and that's where I'm going to be placing his uniforms for school once they are washed and folded and, and ready to go. So, I have a little athletics one there at the front and uh, a school shirt at the back. So, again, much better use of the space and it fitted in there perfectly, just slid in, you know, no room to spare. Caden's handbags um, are all there, ready to go. Um, up the top I've put that wardrobe with her doll's clothes. Well, it's for her doll's clothes, but there's no actual doll's clothes in it. They're in a basket, but uh, we just can't seem to part with the wardrobe. And same with the Lego head. Um, Terry has way too much Lego now to on that head but just can't seem to part with those items so they're just up there with the break wall piggy banks rain jackets so yeah the drawers can actually be shut now everything's folded everything's neat you know there's so much space there's kind of sink it and socks draw it is laundry day but um but um you know there's so much space it's not funny so I'll show you the other side of the cupboard, because we saw that one before. Okay. So, our shoe buckets, Kaylin's with Kaylin's label and Terry's with Terry's label, um, are down there. Um, the piano is just hidden at the back there, and um, hanging clothes are in here, ready to go. And as a divider, I'm using, to divide the boys and the girls, I'm using the uh, jewellery hanging organiser that Kaylin already had. Up the top is some bigger Barbie vehicles, the aeroplane, the camper van and the bike, I mean in the, God I can't even think today, and the car. So again, a much better use of space. Now, I did a big throw out of the kids' clothes before we moved, so there wasn't really um, a need to actually throw anything out or hand it down to thrift shops or Nalia. So, um, pretty much the, everything that was in their cupboard had to go back in. So, yeah, that is the cupboard in this room, all done and organised. And I'm super pumped. That's another job off the list. Thanks for watching.